So, it's time we did something about those videos. So yeah, good uh, morning, good afternoon, good evening. It is currently 6.45 exactly. And i um, been doing various things today. There's a bunch of crap in the background which <laughs> I have to sort out. But there's definitely a lot of upheaval going on in the room, getting ready to sell things on eBay. And I haven't really made a vloggy style video in a while. So seeing as I'm not in work today, um, for reasons which I'll probably go into later, uh, I think we should edit some videos. I've got tons are outstanding. I mean, I'm filming more videos and I'm just, just not editing them. I mean, the frame... There's the... Dis yeah, okay, we're in frame. So let's get on that. But to edit videos, you first need a bit of fuel. And here are our treats. So... Starting, I've already gotten into some of this by the way, so it's already kind of open, couldn't wait. <laughs> I've been scoffing them today. In the back we got some Curiosity Cola. Now if you think of this, it's by a company called Fentimans by the way in the UK. And literally made, I think it's in Sunderland, isn't it? Something like that. But um, essentially there's, it's like the third way of cola. I mean in, back in the day you had your Pepsi, you had Coke. The third way used to be Virgin Cola. This stuff is the boy. I had this in London and... You know, we popped into the Covent Garden shopping centre and I was thirsty and I saw this and I thought, oh, Fenderman's in London, cool. Uh, tasted it, it's brilliant. Um, definitely very good. Got some uh, whole hazelnut chocolate from Ritter Sport, very nice. Pretzels. Um, and two types of jerky. Um, there's this kind, which is, um, it's not bad, but it's kind of tastes a bit artificial. I had a bit of a sample of it. Um, it's because of this honey roasted thing. There was a five spice version as well, I probably should have picked that one up. Um, there's this thing, which is bacon jerky. It's a bit peppery, because I've had this before, and I ordered a pink packet that was supposedly a slightly different flavour, but they look like they sent me the wrong one, but eh, who cares. And some scratchings. Now these are interesting, I saw this on Amazon. It's uh, six tubs of flavoured pork scratchings, I never knew such a thing existed. I've already had the... Um, uh, salt and vinegar one a few days ago. This one is nice, although you can't really taste barbecue. Although you do notice the flavour when you go back to plain. So I'll be uh, polishing them off. So, um, yeah, good fuel for the editing. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Well, there's no fancy intro because I just can't be bothered. Um, I think... I can't even hold the camera straight. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to explore some things that I'm selling on eBay because it's come clear to me, uh, buying stuff for the channel and for myself, I've got a lot of crap. I'll uh, show you exactly what I mean. Now this is just some of it. I haven't pushed it far enough back on the bed so it's kind of in the shot, but oh well. To hell with preparation. Um, there's some stuff in the background as well. It's a mess. Uh, but I'm selling a whole bunch of stuff on my eBay and I may have mentioned this, possibly. I don't know. Anyway, this is another video on that. Oh, by the way, today is the 7th of November 2018, so if you're watching this in 2039, hi! <laughs> yeah, probably, most likely, I'll have just put it up then. But anyway, um, I'm just kind of trying to organise my crap, because I have too much of it. You know, I love eBay, but eBay, you know, can really take over. So I'm just going to show you a few of the things that I've got. So the few other things I have is uh, there's this thing, which is the MacBook Air, the broken one, the completely liquid damaged one that I liberated the screen from to repair my 2012 model. Um, it's done, it's ready to go, and uh, he's all packaged up, listed on eBay and everything. I'll show you all that in a minute. Uh, I've got a couple of joysticks. I've got this thing, which came with a whole, you know, all, the, all the crap. If you've watched the parts haul, if that's even up by now, that's one of the things that came with it. I bought a joystick job lot and this was one of two. Don't need this one at all. So that's gonna go out. And we've got my old, hang on, I'll try and get it. My old PC case. Now, I haven't even shot the Windows 98 machine video, but this was, well, it still is for somebody, I guess. Um, this is basically the uh, Windows 98 machine case that would have been used, but isn't because it's all wrong. You'll probably find out why, but anyway, it's from 2007, was bought for an original build, never used, stored away, and I was getting so... What the hell is going on? Sorry about that, my uh, Windows 10 machine was making stupid noises. So anyway, that's going to go, and we've got some stuff in these boxes, which I shall get for you in a second. So I've been reasonably organised, I've got uh, things sort of packaged into boxes partially... Hang on a second, the cable's caught. 
this is just a tech vlog this is a cheap stripped down video there's nothing special about this but uh, we'll just have a look in this one what am i selling so i've got some kind of kvm thing which is useless for gaming peripherals because they just take too much power i've got a new one instead uh there's a mini mouse which i don't think anyone's going to buy that but put it up anyway tapes now you think well tapes aren't going to sell at all these aren't even up yet they've got to be these are stuck together with some kind of gunk i don't know what that is people actually buy this they honestly do and especially actually there's some other tapes down here i'll just show you such as this like you've got chrome tapes there's another one down there for cd type stuff um they're surprisingly popular people who still use cassette tape for whatever bloody reason that is <laughs> i don't know um got some software as well got some apple stuff iLife 06, you know, meant for like Panther or something. Oh, shit. And a couple of trial versions, which, again, oddly enough, people do actually collect this. Oh, it's dented. Hang on. Oh, I just had to sneeze there. Um, well, that's going to have to be bent back because that's not supposed to be. i uh, got a couple of games. These are for the Sega Saturn. These have barely ever been used. Now, there's a scratch across this one. I have a feeling it's because, you know, every Sega Saturn box in existence, every different type, does not hold the disc so it's fallen off at some point and scratched it i'm never likely to play that and even less likely to play golf i don't even do it in real life i don't understand it it's boring as hell so they're gonna go out and i've got an old sound card there which has yet to be listed but there's a, there's a few things to be going on with really um i'm gonna have to really take care of these if these are gonna get bent uh it wasn't photographed like that <laughs> oh shit but that's the generic box over with um i've got actually I'll, I'll stack this one in here got a couple of other things that these are the boxes they will get posted in eventually um this is my copy of os 10 panther this came with um a certain cube shaped apple computer that i haven't shown yet although by the time this video is out that should have been edited and uploaded fingers crossed anyway it's panther but it's useless to me. I'm not really up for collecting software too much, and this one is the CD version anyway. So I'd prefer the DVD version if I was going to collect that, but that's going to probably make someone very happy. It's not in bad condition, although it probably will be after I bump it about. Ah, but this one. This is the first thing we're going to actually come to and do some work on tonight. Because I'll have to show you on the eBay thing. This is an early 2009 Mac Mini. I have a 2012 that's under my desk. Literally, I've explained this before, but it's such a good story, I have to tell it again. I got two Mac Minis. One, this one, fully working, early 2009, brilliant. And a 2012, top spec, okay? Keep that in mind. The only catch to that was that the HDMI doesn't work. And it appears to have had its um, drive mounting apparatus removed at some point like the little nubs you put on the hard drive but it's not a problem it still goes in there i think when i film these things i'm gonna to have to tell the uh the pc to shut up royally so anyway yes where was i yes but other than that it's a perfect 2012 machine and until literally at this point of the year the 2018 mac mini is released and i really like the look of that thing it was still the most powerful mac mini there was um unfortunately it's gone vintage now so nothing could happen with it but yay anyway but the thing was i paid 175 for both. Now let's sink in for a second. I paid 175 for two Mac Minis, one of which was a top spec 2012 with a broken HDMI, but everything else works on it. Yeah, that's that's an incredible deal. I mean, you see them go for 700. Anyway, I don't need this because this wasn't the intention. I didn't want to buy this one. The 2012 is what I wanted. So it's uh, all packaged up, but it's not perfect. Um, it only has three gigs of RAM and no hard drive. It never came with a hard drive. And uh, it's been on there for a while. I mean, I'll explain that more when I actually show you the uh, eBay listings page I've got. Okay, so the next thing I'm selling um, is one of these two things. They're kind of identical. And originally I wasn't actually going to um, you know, video this separately because the video that these things are going to appear in, or at least one of the things, is uh, potentially a long way off. <sighs> Slightly out of breath because I just had to hump these from one room to another uh, they barely fit in shot this is literally the best i can do and so excuse any messiness in the room there's a lot which is being sorted through and a lot which is going to get thrown out so uh let's start by unwrapping the one to the left now 
you'll see what it is. I mean, some of them are astute. I'm going to explain what it is anyway. I'm probably in the shot, but I don't really care. Um, you'll know what this is as soon as you see it. And quite how I've ended up with two of them, uh, well, I could explain. Wait, where's the middle line for this? So, yeah. Um, and oddly... Oh, 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 hang on. Wait a second. Uh, I'm just going to stop the camera while I get a bag for this. Bloody hell, I didn't realise there was going to be that many. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully I didn't bump the camera too much. Uh, yeah. Good God. Honestly, if I was LGR, I would have had a shit fit by now. But yes, let's have a look at what I've actually got. Oh yes, we have an Acorn Phoebe. Probably shouldn't do that to it. Now I bought this one originally on, well the actual order went through on, what was it? Yeah, 24th of May of this year, uh, this year being 2018, just in case this is posted in like 2020 or some shit. Um, yeah, so this is an Acorn Phoebe case for those who know what this is. Brilliant for those who don't. Uh, pay attention to an upcoming video of mine where um, I'll be detailing lots of things about this, but um, this isn't the end of the story. I'll uh, I'll uh, proceed. Okay, so box number two. Oh, hang on a second. Let's make this a bit more safe. Okay, take two. Hmm. Apparently I've also bought a Red Side Paddock Stand Triumph all models including whatever that is. Ah, I see this one's a little bit different. This has got the boob implants and I think... Oh, actually I'll get to that in a minute. These are such fun to pop. Makes everyone else think you've got like a bomb going off. And yes, we've got another one. So this one's slightly different. Give me a second. We got it out. Now there's a few things I have to do to actually demonstrate what the difference is between these two because uh, there is a difference. Oh, God, I'm knackered after struggling with that. So the one on the left is the first one I got. This one was bought in, as I say, May. I originally got this because uh, I tried to buy one in about February but Retro Man Cave, I think, beat me to it. And the reason why I say that is because um, the timing at which he showed his Phoebe, because he, he does have one as well, seemed to be kind of like he would have bought that probably in February. Not to worry I thought. I sat on eBay and waited for something else to come along. But when May rolled around I got this thing. Um, but it's different. See this one is a glossy variant and um, the one on the right is actually from what I understand later on this is the one that would have been sold to the public. So actually the one on the right is the mainstream model and this appears to be a kind of a prototype. There probably were a few made like this, I don't think it's the only one. Um, but you can see there's like a logo placement is different. Uh, this is on there, it's down the bottom rather than being in the middle. But uh, yeah, so essentially I'm keeping the one on the right because that's the one I wanted all along. And the one on the left is going to be repacked and then sold. But it's going to have to be photographed and filmed because I have b-roll to edit. I've, I've got to actually do that. I've been meaning to do it all bloody week. So I've got to get up tomorrow at you know ridiculous times and I've got to try and film these because I want to do it in natural light and on the landing area outside it's uh, it's going to be pretty good for that. I'm going to try it with just the light on but I think the artificial light's not going to look anywhere near, near as good as actual daylight. All that fuss, all that nonsense and I'm just going to have to put these away for the night. I just upended them a little bit for a brief second or two, just so you could see the differences in the finish. That's the matte finish one. 
and that's the glossy finish one. Don't know which one I like better. I think I actually like the one. Well, I mean, the matte finish. This, as I say, this is closer to what the consumers would have had, and that is sort of a prototype. So I guess I'd probably side with this one. But yeah, all in all, very interesting. So apologies for crudely filming the screen because I didn't have anything set up because I'm, you know, an idiot. There's all the listings, there's all the items, there's the software. Ooh, let's actually um, refresh that. Four watches. Huh, nice. Okay, so iLife is up. iWork. Uh, this, actually today, it's received a bid. Look at that. One bid. And uh, if I sell this, it basically I'll make it only about three quid profit on when I bought it. See, this is the parts Mac. It's got a broken screen, a broken other bit. The games, the software, the joysticks, the other case. But there's one thing missing. There's the Mac Mini. Now, I've taken that off because what I found was I was actually charging 130 for a Mac which has no hard drive, 3 gigs of RAM, and nothing else. I had a look again, and there were Macs going... Well, the same one, the early 2009, was going for less when partnered with, you know, has RAM, has keyboard, um, has an SSD in it. So I was like, no, this ain't going to do. So we're going to do some surgery on the Mac Mini and we're going to see if we can make that a bit better and then put the listing up again. To accomplish this, we have um, a SanDisk SSD that I rescued out of a, an enclosure. It sort of appears to be the, the worst of two SSDs that I was going to choose, but, you know, it's fine. It's going to get replaced with a bigger one anyway, so I thought I'll, I'll put a used SSD in. Considered a hard drive, but I'd just be wasting that because someone would just probably whip it out and replace it straight away. And here we have two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, just to make the unit up to four. Four is a better number, and combined with a hard drive and an operating system and a dropped price, should sell better. Should. I mean, I don't know if it will. All right, so... Um Ready to do it. Now this this tool may not be enough. It's hard to ang angle this on the camera, hang on. There you go. It's my iFixit spudger thing. We may need... Oh, it's probably... Oh, I don't know, it's kind of... Getting into it a bit. No. No, we need a bigger, a bigger spudger. Hold on a moment. I have palette knife. Try to use a wallpaper scraper, and they're just a bit too covered in crap. Oh, hold on. Oh, this is probably going to be too thick. Right, let me do this off camera. Took a little bit of work, but managed to get it off with. Not really any noticeable damage at all. So we're going to put that in there. Now, we've got to pull these. And that reveals the optical drive and a few other things. And then you've got some screws which need to be pulled out in order. So, yeah, be prepared to be sped up. Oh, to be very careful. Oh, here we go. Just gonna move this aside a little bit. That's excellent. Okay, so let's take a look at this. There's the two gig module. That's gonna stay right here. And this, obviously, yep, is the one. There we go. Okay, put this one in. And back with the other one. Great. We now have four gigs of RAM. So the next stage is to have a look at this. Okay, now this is the optical assembly. Be very careful of these springs. As I remember, um, 
everything's done underneath and there's the screws that I stuck in place. There would have been for the other person to put in if they'd wanted but of course I'm doing it now. So I'm just going to move this thing out the way. So this is the SSD we're using, it has, well I probably mentioned that already, it's a SanDisk SSD Plus. There's the sensor, which way does this go in? So if that goes in that way, I probably should just stick the sensor on the back somewhere. Yeah, that should do. How oh, this goes, in. do I have to take this off? Oh, please don't tell me I have to take this off. Oh, oh, actually, take this off temporarily. I hate to do this, but this is um, infuriating to get into. I have, to have a feeling I might have to pull the optical drive out. Don't really fancy doing that, but um, hey, I'll be right back. So I've done this before, and I can't really remember how I got the hard drive in the last time. But I'm just pulling up aside this uh, frame. It should allow me to... Oh, God. Yeah, as I say, it should allow me to get the SSD in. Yeah! Oh. Hold on a second. Right. Huh, hopefully that didn't break it. Okay, time to put the screws in. And that's it. So heat sensors back. You know whether or not this actually causes any major problems. I'm not really sure. I think it's time we put this back in the body. Now this bit I remember the last time uh, was an absolute pain in the bum. And uh, the connector for this little ribbon right here is right over there. We can't see that. Just there. And. The wireless thing has to go to this side, to go around there. So, wish me the best of luck, children. Right, mechanically in, and hey, I think that's it. Right, just to put a few springs back on. I think that went on there. I'm not entirely sure. Should have done. Anyway, I've got to put screws down. And there we go. So the only thing to do now, as so long as this whole thing actually still bloody works, is to slide the top on. Because I don't really want to have to do this again. Uh, and we shall be on our way. So just as a quick addendum, I did actually manage to get this sealed up correctly. The antenna wouldn't go down because I needed to squeeze the clips on the inside, but I didn't really think of that. 
now I think it's time that we actually install this biznitch. Okay, just using my phone because I've just spent ages trying to reposition the tripod just right. I've got the Mac Mini hooked up to display port and USB and the KVM is switched over. So I think we now can install something. Oh yeah, and uh, connect power as well. That helps. Okay, we're ready to go. This is about as good as it's going to get. Where's the power button? There it is. And we're going to hold down the Alt key because we want to get into the boot manager. And we want to hold down Command Alt and R, which in this case is Windows Alt and R. On we go. Um, that's not good. That's the RAM. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, honestly, man. Okay, so I've had to pull it out. I've put the RAM stick back that is um, the new one. We're going to try it with just two gigs of RAM. This should work. The light's on. It should still work passively. Well, I cannot get it to work at all with this RAM stick, no matter what I do, pulling the PRAM battery, trying to do, well, sorry, NVRAM uh, reset, whatever, it just doesn't want to work. And I don't think it's necessarily because the RAM is faulty, although I've got nothing to test it in, really, nothing I can rip apart easy. So, we're going to have to get a new, another RAM stick, but I still want to sort of push ahead with the other thing, which is to install macOS on this. Similarly had errors, um, it was not booting into internet recovery, then I remembered something. This Mac can't. That's a complete list of everything that can boot to internet recovery, and a 2009 Mac Mini is not among them. So, so we're going to have to create an install disk. I used to have one that was on this thing, which is where that hard drive, or rather SSD, came from. It was all there. El Capitan was all ready to install, and it's just like, why? Why do you do this? Anyway, we'll, we'll just get on with that. Okay, my stick is ready. It's in here. I'm just going to turn it on and Alt key down. Yep, there's your bong. Oh, and there's the light. Hey, amazing. Hey, there we are. Use English for the main language. Come on. Right, I'm just going to check the disk. Should be absolutely fine. And it is. It's literally exactly as I left it. Pretty much. 120. Alright, nothing to do but install. Well, after a while of struggling with this, saying that the media couldn't be verified because it may have been tampered with, which is bollocks, um, a little sort of tutorial about altering the date um, means it's now working. It says it should take about 12 minutes, so I guess I can just sit back and relax. Well, the Mac just started talking to me, which means it's um, it's uh, fully kind of ready. Fully kind of ready, what is that? But I'm just going to go and set this up, and I'm just going to see how everything is. I can always do the Apple setup done trick a bit later. And there we are. It's all nicely... Um, Installed. Um, I'm going to have to solve the memory issue another time because I really can't be bothered. Uh, let's just move on to something else. Okay, so it's a few days later and it's, uh, of course, still not back together. But I have the extra RAM here. The, the new RAM that should work, hopefully. So I deliberately didn't take it out of the package just in case it was me that killed the last stick, although I highly doubt it. But, uh, yeah. Now, it doesn't fill me with confidence. Uh, this RAM stick appears to be... Yep, yeah, okay. It seems to be just sealed up in the cardboard, so... Oh god, who knows? Never mind. And now it's in. So I've got to connect up the power. 
just going to plop everything back in, including the um, like the speaker, so I can hear any bleeps if anything sort of comes in. Okay, so should be it. And go. Bands, come on. Yes, that's what we're looking for. Fantastic. Well, I kind of hoped it would work, and it did. And there we have it. Four gigabytes of RAM. Ah, oh, finally. This was unnecessarily difficult and drawn out. So now, I guess we can just put this back together again and relist it on eBay. Oh yeah, and the uh, optical drive works perfectly. Brilliant. This is another one of those uh, glorious moments in which I could be seeing literally anything that I want. More than likely you don't want to hear me say just anything. You want me to come up with some insightful information. Something that, you know, expands the mind. Well, you're not going to get that today, unfortunately. <laughs>